It is Saturday today and today would probably be the day that we would be most likely getting a takeaway if we wasn't in lockdown but because we are we're going to have a bit of a fake away tonight and I ordered this um, kind of DIY box set from Patty and Bun which is one of our favourite burger places in London. I think it's actually quite a fun thing to do to try and like recreate your favourite takeaway or your favourite like dish from a restaurant or something. Necessarily myself making it maybe mike because he is the pro in the kitchen um out of the two of us he's actually spent so much time in the kitchen during lockdown um i feel like the kitchen is in constant use but i mean i'm not complaining last night he made the best korean wings i think i've ever tasted haven't told him that but they were insane i'll actually insert a clip of them here and get him to like pop his recipe down below or I don't know, maybe film it next week, but they're so, so good. If you can hear the kids screaming, uh, which you probably can, because the window's open, they're outside in the garden playing, making the most of the sunshine. So in the box, we have four burgers, which are straight from the butchers, and bacon, cheese, four really fresh looking brioche rolls, smoky patty and bun mayo, and then in here, caramelised onions and pickled red onions. having one of my favourite dishes that Mike makes. It's his chorizo hash, which whenever I put on Instagram, you guys go mad for. So I've already got the ingredients on my phone. The ingredients are chorizo, small potatoes, onion, thyme, parsley and egg. Sometimes for the crusty roll, tonight we've not got any, unfortunately, and I'm missing something. Yep, garlic. Garlic. Uh, paprika. Paprika. Or smoked paprika, actually. Smoked paprika. That's it, it's really simple. Mike says it's sweet and simple for me. <laughs> Maybe not so much, but yeah, it's so, so tasty. Um, so if you're gonna try any of these meals, definitely give this one a go. Monday today and I'm not gonna lie it's been one of those lockdown lazy days where we just wanted to chill out on the sofa all together watch movies watch tv read books um, and eat loads of snacks so dinner time we're gonna reel it in a little bit and have something a bit healthier so Mike is gonna make some sweet chili salmon which is actually one of my favorite meals paired with rice um, I never used to be big on fish particularly salmon but I really do like sweet chili things at the moment. I go through like food phases and this is one of them. It's nice, quick and easy. Um, yeah, really looking forward to tonight's dinner.
Tuesday today and today has been one of those busy days so we're going to have a thrown together dinner uh, which consists of a slow cooked beef brisket, sweet corn and some mashed potato. There's no real cooking involved here except for Mike is going to make um, some gravy. I think sometimes dinners like this are very essential. <laughs> Today is our fifth and final meal of today's video um, and it looks to be a good one. We're having Thai minced pork and by the look of the ingredients on the side it looks like it's going to be delicious. You know sometimes you're really in the mood for a particular food. I feel like tonight's is going to sit very very well with me. But I do feel like I've been spoiled for good meals this week. Mike did a very good job. So I'm going to take you through the ingredients now and then Mike is going to cook and that will be it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, then do comment below because Mike's always in the kitchen and I would love to film another one of these videos if you have enjoyed watching it. I'd also love to know what meals you like the look of, whether or not you're gonna try them yourself and what meals you recommend we have based on what we've eaten this week. Uh, Mike would love to take up some challenges, I'm sure. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Do make sure you comment, subscribe and thumbs up and we will see you very, very soon. So today's ingredients include two soy sauces. Uh, Mike says one is a light soy sauce and one is for something else. Um, fish sauce, garlic, spring onions, two mixed chilies here, um, some baby sugar snaps, Thai basil and of course some pork mint. 